So I was thinking the other day, why I don't have a hot pink piece of furniture? I love pink. I started with this little end table. It had lots of potential, amazing details and great hardware. All it needed was a little love and some paint. Before we start, we must clean our piece. I'm using White Lightning by Dixie Bell. Just shake a little of this magic dust into a bucket of warm water and scrub your piece everywhere with it. It's that simple. These knobs are beautiful, but they need to be scrubbed on the surface. I'm going to paint over them, but we need a clean surface for our paint to stick. Using a scrubber can really help get in there. You just want to give the paint a clean surface to grab onto. It's such an important step. We're going to use a combination of Dixie Bell Caviar and Peony. A basically, a black color and hot pink. I'm using this French tip brush by Dixie Bell. I wanted to try this brush out and it's going to help me get into those little corners on the details on this piece. I began painting caviar as my base color. My plan is to have caviar as my undertone around the edges and corners. This will hopefully make sense as we go along. Please tell me it's a dream. Worst kind you've ever dreamed. Like, I really love to do that. <laughs> I did the same for the top. Just copy around the outside border so I can fill it with my pink neck. For my next color, I use my Dixie Bell Premium Cheap Brush. I've been looking for a good reason to try these brushes. This is when we will use Pony, our hot pink color. I'm going to start with some dry brushing. Remember, when dry brushing, you want to start with a small amount of paint. Then you're going to want to unload that paint even more. You want that brush to have very little paint on it. Now you lightly dry brush over the places you want the effect. It's very touchy thing, dry brushing. You're going to have to practice it. using 
very little paint you can control how much paint you put on by how much force you apply It's my favorite thing to do, so I love it. It's very therapeutic. Oh, tenderness is out the window. What you do to me when the cold bites blue is straight cold. Mm. Oh, it has to be you leaving right in zone. For the side panels, I'm filling the middle with the salt pink and dry brushing the edges. How much of this effect you do, it's up to you. I've got too much to lose. I did the same for the top. what it looked like at this point. Well, please don't make me do it Cause I, I, I too much to lose I got too much to lose Now, for some detail work, I went back to Caviar, which is my base color. I did same dry brushing at the bottom. I try adding Aberdeen, which is a nice purple. Once I added some on the hardware, I immediately realized this wasn't doing anything for me. I just went over it with my pink and it was gone as easy as that. For the top, I went back and forth with my colors, black and pink. I kept dry brushing with them to bring the top together. On 
this point you're just playing with them until you are happy. I did the same thing on the side panels. inside of the door you're going to want to use a little amount of paint you don't want to use too much paint here or you can affect the door opening and closing that's the trick to not getting your drawers and doors stuck now I used a smaller brush for my caviar and did some more dry brushing I started by adding more black on the corners of the little details in the door. I love doing this. Then with my pink, I went over it again with a dry brush to blend it nicely. This is really about how you feel and how you want it to look. You can play around with the balance as much as you want. Next, I went to add some protection. I'm using Big Mama's Bada. it with my cheesecloth and for some reason it left a lot of cloth behind. I was able to brush this off but it was kind of annoying having to do that. I decided to get a piece of an old white t-shirt and that ended up working much better. It's pretty straightforward. You just want to wrap some wax on your entire piece. Also, it smells really good. I really love using this wax. It makes a whole studio smells like oranges. To finish the look, we're going to add some warm gold gilding wax, of course. I'm using a small cheap brush for this. I like to cut the tops of them to be flat like this. You don't have to do this, but I find it much easier to use these brushes like this. 
Yeah, I'll be missing you, love. I also ended up dry brushing my gilding wax. Instead of just applying it normally, I use my dry brush approach to give it this effect. When I think of you and the two of us together. I think it turned out beautifully in this situation. It was you and me forever. Now you walk away. Maybe for the better. So tell me something true. Will you miss my love? Will you miss my love? Next, I went around with my gilding wax, applying it wherever I wanted it. Mainly details and corners and hardware. Will you miss me and my love, my love, my love? When I see you again, I wanna show you how I loved you. You were my one true friend, and I cherish every moment I got to spend with you. I just love gold and I love dry brushing, so I can do this forever. <laughs> was the hot pink piece I needed in my life. <laughs> some gold to the side panels around the edges as well I also added some gold along the border on the top it was just gorgeous once I took a step back and side all done I was in love So what you guys think about this video? Do you like hot pink furniture? And would you dare to paint one of your pieces of furniture in this beautiful hot pink color? Let me know and leave a comment below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next Friday when I am bringing you new video and more ideas. Bye. <laughs>